Hello there. I hope you're enjoying the book so far. I know I am. Um, there's only about 13 pages left, so we're getting to or towards the end here. But if you're anything like me, you're probably starting to think, what the heck is going on? Um, I know I finished the book last night and it was incredible. But before finishing it, I definitely had to go back and refresh myself on what was going on in the beginning and um, some things that I had missed. So I threw together this quick little recap. Um, feel free to watch it if you're interested. If not, go ahead and skip it. Um, I just threw this together to try to sum everything up so that the ending is satisfying. Um, so as you guys obviously know, the book switches perspectives pretty frequently. So we had part one, which was Andrew Borden, present day descendant of Alfred Borden. So the book opened with Andrew Borden receiving this mysterious book in the mail, um, realizing that it was written by one of his ancestors, but not really understanding why or who sent it to him. Then part two was from the perspective of Alfred Borden, the magician. Part three was from the perspective of Kate Anger, which was the present day descendant of Rupert Anger. Uh, and she is the one that sent the book to Andrew in the beginning. Part four was the perspective of the other magician, Rupert Anger. And then part five, what we're about to do is the prestiges. So just to kind of put everything back in perspective, um, two feuding magicians, Alfred Borden and Rupert Anger, drew this line to represent feuding, um, spent both of their careers trying to outdo the other one, uh, trying to sabotage each other's acts. Uh, trying to figure out each other's secrets. Um, then the direct descendant, Andrew Borden, who the direct descendant of Rupert Anger, Kate Anger, sent the book to Andrew Borden. So the book opens with Andrew receiving this book in the mail that was written by his ancestor, not understanding why. Um, then he ends up paying a visit to Kate, which is how the story begins. And if you guys recall in the beginning, he says to Kate, what does their feud have anything to do with us? Why do I care about the feud of our ancestors? What does that have anything to do with us in the present day? And Kate was very adamant that he should care. And she was trying to um, explain all of this. So one other thing that happened at the end of part four um, is that we learned for the first time that Rupert Angier had been actually split into two. Um, we learned that when the um, illusion went wrong, when Alfred Borden had snuck under the ground stage, and this was the part I had to go back and read for myself, um, because part two, from his perspective, I wanted to go back and see if he had willingly sabotaged the act or if it was an accident and when I went back and saw it was an accident if you guys recall he had snuck under the stage um Rupert Angier was doing his um transportation illusion with the Tesla apparatus and he just saw a whole bunch of smoke and electricity and he thought something was wrong so he pulled the lever the off lever which shut down the entire operation and which caused the transmission to be incomplete. So then we had two Rupert Angers. We had the one that was um, physically decaying in his body, getting the cancer and getting progressively more sick and sick and sick. And then we had the one that um, was like the half man. He was transparent. He was um, everything that had been separated from this one. So we had the two separate Rupert Angers. This one died. This one went on to write the rest of the journal. So that's where we ended with part four was that Rupert Anger died. And then this other Rupert Anger showed up um, in his final days and they kind of reconvened and, and um, he decided to leave to allow this one's family to grieve. So that's where we ended, where this one took off. We don't know where he went. He said that he could never live a full life because he would always have to be hiding in the shadows um, as he scares the living daylights out of anybody who sees him being transparent and whatnot. Um, so that's where we're at. Um, hopefully this helped. And I'm excited to finish this book with you guys. It's been awesome so far. If you made it this far with me, 
Thanks for hanging in there.